To me, maps are storytelling tools. I just remember being really excited about what maps could unlock for me. Maps and geographic data are really important pieces of communication. There are already a ton of maps of the world. Those maps are all in 2D. Niantic is building this 3D map of the world because we really care about creating fun outdoor experiences in augmented reality. We've been doing this for years now. To layer computer-developed content onto the real world, you need to know where in the real world that content should be, where people are, and where they want that particular experience. And that's what makes it different from any types of other 3D maps out there. We need to actually map a lot of areas that like cars can't go, that satellites don't see. So our players are helping us map this world by taking videos of the areas where they're playing. We know that places are gonna change. We don't just build it once. We build it again and again and again. And we do that by incentivizing players of our games to help us keep that map fresh by scanning places as they change so that we know that this ever-changing world, we always have an accurate representation of the world as it is today, not the world as it was a month ago, a year ago, five years ago. It could be the next evolution of navigation, especially navigation on foot. It could be used for local discovery. Really, the possibilities are limitless. Anything that has to do with how we observe and record the Earth and the world, I think those are really meaningful in the way that we talk about the past, present, and the future. Maps are only going to get better and better, and it's okay to let go of the maps of old and embrace the maps of the future.